Hi, this is Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus, and this is a follow-up to my previous tutorial on using Hazel 3 and an inbox to keep your Mac free from clutter. You'll need to have followed that tutorial to be able to get full use out of this one, so if you haven't read it already, check out the link in the post below. In the previous tutorial, I got it set up so that any file on my desktop or my downloads folder gets moved to an inbox. There it's sorted into one of a number of folders and I can then act on it. If I don't, things get moved to archives or deleted after a week or two. I also have a couple of inboxes for every project I work on. So for Tuts Plus, I have a Tuts Plus inbox. Any files I need for an article in the next couple of days or weeks, I send to my Tuts Plus inbox. To make it happen automatically, I set up a Hazel rule that any file tagged with Tuts gets moved to my Tuts Plus inbox. I'll show you how that works. I'm gonna take a screenshot of Hazel again. It will pop up there, and in a second, it will get moved into my inbox over here. It's down the bottom, last one there. And as you can see, it matches the screen. Now, if I tag it with Tuts, I'm gonna use the launch part to do this. Uh, there's the Tuts tag, add tag Tuts. You'll see it gets moved in a second now from there over to my Tuts Plus inbox. Appears now, my Tuts Plus inbox is in Dropbox, so it's just syncing up to Dropbox. There are two Hazel rules required to make this happen. By default, Hazel only works on the top level folder. It doesn't dive into subfolders. So on the inbox, I've got this dive into folders rule. You can see that if the kind is folder, it does the following, which is run rules on folder contents. It's down at the bottom, just select that. This causes Hazel to operate with all the following rules, these are these ones here, on the contents of any folder it finds. Be very careful doing this, you can get some interesting recursive results if you're not careful. I've had you know, hundreds of pictures sorted into sub 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 folders in a single folder because I accidentally let rules run recursively. Moving files with Hazel like this and tags can be handy, but there's other ways to do it. It doesn't save a massive amount of time. But I'm going to take another screenshot and show you something a little more interesting. If I jump back, we can see that it's going to appear in my inbox now. There we go. And you can see this is 668 pixels wide. I need screenshots like this for every article I write, but they have to be 600 pixels wide. I used to just resize them in Photoshop, but that's more hassle than it's worth. Instead, if I tag it with Tut's image and give it a second, Hazel's going to move it over to my Tut's inbox, and it's also going to resize it to 600 pixels, what it does. So if we look over here, the that one is 600 by 458 pixels. The other one, which we used earlier, is 668. The rule to do this is very similar. It's the Tuts index and resize rule there. Double click in, and you can see that it matches almost the same as the other one. It matches Tuts image, and then it moves it to the folder Tuts inbox, but it also runs the automator workflow 600 pix in JPEG. So with Hazel, you can run Apple script, JavaScript, shell scripts, or automator workflows. I've got an automator workflow that takes any picture, converts it to 600 pixels wide, and converts it to a JPEG. So this runs on any image that moves between my inbox and my Tuts Plus inbox. I also have it set up to remove the Tuts image tag, because that's I want to keep just automating stuff. And it adds the tag Tuts which, as you saw earlier, gets applied to anything that moves between my inbox and my Tuts Plus inbox. Finally, in the last two tutorials, I've covered a lot of rules that trigger based on the time a file was created. So if a file is older than a week or older than two weeks, it gets moved. For some things, that doesn't work. For my expenses, I have an at expenses folder in the inbox where I throw in any receipts that I'm going to be writing off as expenses or billing to clients at the end of the month. But I only need them in my inbox for the month. An expense from the third of the month and an expense from the 28th of the month are still from the same month. So doing it based on date of creation or how old the file is 
doesn't really work. So I've got the add expenses folder there and I've got the sort expenses rule. Here you can see that if the current time is midnight on the first of the month, so you can select current time and then again you can choose day of the month and then first um, on the first of the month, it will move it to a folder, the annual expenses, where I keep a record of all my expenses for tax returns at the end of the year and sort it into a folder with the date created and then expenses. This is a great rule for archiving anything that you need to do on a weekly or monthly or even annual basis. It just automates the process and my annual expenses folder is in the iCloud so all my expenses stay nice and safe and I can get them at the end of the year for tax returns. For more information on setting all this up check out the rest of the post below. Hopefully this should have given you some ideas of Hazel rules you can implement in your own workflow. The ones I'm demonstrating here are quite specific to mine and other people will have different uses. If you come up with any great ones, please share them in the comments below. I'd love to see them. Thanks.